Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW integration B 2020. This one's problem five. We have the integral of cosine ln x dx. Okay, so of course the trouble is what do we do when we have ln x as the input for our cosine function? We could probably go right to integration by parts. I think what I want to do instead is do a u substitution first. Let's just try it that way. And I can solve for x. We can say x is going to be just e to the u. I'll take a derivative to get my dx value. So we have dx is eu du. So what's going to happen is we end up with cosine of u, and our dx is going to be just this eu du. So like I said, we were probably going to use integration by parts either way. So, so now we're in good shape for our integration by parts, and I'll use the di method or tabular integration. We could do this either way. I think what I want to do is I usually integrate e, and we'll differentiate cosine of u. Taking a derivative here, this is going to be minus sine u. We'll integrate one more time. We'll have eu here. And then here, derivative of minus sine u is going to give me minus cosine u. But because now we repeat, we've got the same thing as our original integral. We'll just kind of stop right here. So we'll have part of the solution here on the diagonal. So we'll have, I'm going to factor out e to the u. And this minus times minus here is going to give me a plus. So we're going to end up with cosine u plus sine u. And what I'll do, I'll just label this integral here as i, because then this is actually going to become minus i. So let's see if I squeeze this in over here and I just add an i on both sides here, right? Then on the left side, we have 2i, and then we'll just copy down all this business here. But then what I can do is just divide by 2 on both sides, divide by 2 here. So now we just have our solution actually in u. So all we need to do to finish this is just back substitute. So now for e to the u, we already have that. That's x. So this is going to be x cosine. Our u value against natural log x. So this is going to become cosine ln x plus sine ln x all over 2 plus c. And that's it. All right, good quick problem with integration by parts. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.